Please. Is he smiling? Is the one from EVO smiling? I know he's not the EVO side who's actually hovering over there. Yes! Yeah! We're gonna be seeing the Flash. OMG! I love it! Okay. This is amazing. We're gonna be seeing the Flash into the mid lane. It's, it's all come down to this because there's so many bans from all other characters. Flash is uh, kind of like... Well, he's the fastest man alive. You know what it is from the DC Comics. He's really, he's pretty strong in terms of what he can do uh, in the matches because he's able to kind of just zip and zap and uh, around the around the field. Uh, had actually he was mistaken. It's gonna be Murad into the jungle. It's gonna be uh, at least Hayate onto the side lane. And now fight erupts immediately. We haven't even started at all. Four members of Evos are right here to defend their comrade, but they. Spot out the man, the lonesome KSSA or Spirit Sentinel or the Abyssal Dragon. So it's all good in the hood. But you can already see how quick Evos is to kind of pull the trigger. But speaking of pulling the trigger, I do like the positioning here for AHK Esports Club. They know already that once they pass level 4, they have a lot of fight potential. But no, this is not the fight potential that they wanted to do. So run, Barry, run, activating the ultimate there from Hack, but still. Will can get knocked down by the auto attack from Fall. Here comes the Murad Temporal Turbulence. Gets knocked in. Fall, the positioning, all his AoE, the slow, the stun. It all connects and beautifully dissects the members of HQ Esports Club. The punish once again. They see, they see KSSA, but he does have a dash. Still, you saw that NT wanted to kind of join his teammates. But it was not... Uh, well, it wasn't actually fated to happen, and while all of that was happening, Evos was able to break down this mid-tier one, but at what cost? Here comes Hack trying to get his opponents down. Poka having the shield with the Omega, not looking too good. Rush is able to chase down onto the Diao Chan, even though she is the Ice Queen, able to kind of keep herself in stasis. It's still not going to be enough. Okay, this is Tao's. He is the Omen. He shouldn't be able to survive this one, but he might be able to knock somebody down. Fall has the shield, and my goodness, Tao still gets it. This is the strategy that Evos wanted to happen. The split, the split push composition, the 4v1 or the 4v5s is working remarkably well for them. Now, AHQ is punishing this with their numbers advantage. KSSA will be the one to gatekeep just a little bit. Stop them while this Dark Slayer is still hot on the heels. Hack was trying to kind of make something happen there with his flash, but it seems like Poka had to force himself. He had to sacrifice himself to keep AHQ away from the Dark Slayer, but it's still not going to happen. They are still going at it by Wyvors as joining in onto the fight. What the sh. Sorry. What? He just ran up there. AHQ separated like the Great Sea, and they walked up. Darcy gets the last hit, and Dark Slayer stolen by Evo's esports. You, I don't know what just happened there. Diao Chen even gets the frost, and from what looked like to have been AHQ in the driver's seat in the lead, he actually has also a nice set of items already. Gonna keep him, you know, a little bit in terms of the damage. So I do like the. The premise, they have to go for the fight. I do also like how Omen is into the backside here. KSSA is the man to kind of deal or be the distraction while AHQ is trying to micro around at this fight. Wyvors is going to be onto the front side here. They do lose Fall. He doesn't have an ultimate just yet, so he's very low. Actually, no, he activates it now. There's going to be a big fight here. KSSA had to flicker over the wall. Here comes Tails, 1v1 against Weirao. And this Darcy should not be able to actually beat out this duel, but his sustain is actually allowing him to do so. That is a quick and clean wipeout. An ace, mind you, for Evos. And this is a straight up onto the Nexus. That is going to be GG for game number one. What a quick transition. It felt like we were casting for an hour there, but it's only been 13 minutes into this game. What a game. Evos definitely deserve that. I have no idea how or what just happened as to why they backed up all the way, giving that Dark Slayer, which was the turning point. Something else on the board can come onto their minds. It's the Zephyrus. Ooh. Okay. First time we're going to be seeing Zephyrus in the group stage as well. I mean, I do enjoy how AIC is kind of forcing a lot of these teams 
to really show their what's the word I'm looking for? Their versatility, their 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 hero pool, mind you that, and the ability to kind of bring out the most of the side picks. Now it's gonna be Evos to bring out the DC character. Gonna be able to wrap around the edges, Elsu and Kilgroth onto the side lanes. Poka already out into the open. Scoop up a wave and then try to get the last hit. It's so easy for him to just do that. Hans, though, out in the open, able to almost... Yes, he can actually run away from this one. Hack cannot find him. He chases him so hard. One more auto attack and that could have been it. KSSA can use his ultimate aggressively. And when they're out in the open, out of position, he can use it. Grab somebody in, and that's going to be it. I'm not sure if that was the wise decision. Look at how low his HP is, but he is close to that tower, so it should be fine. And Dandy Weirau is absorbing quite a bit of damage here. They're fighting. Kilgroth also joins into the fight. This is Wyvors, the man who would be king, the one who allowed Evos to kind of win out of this duels, but it seems like it's not working at all. They're losing members left, right, and center. Weirau and Poka. Now, on the other hand, it seems if AHQ have a low econ team here that they can use to kind of just bully out their opponents at the very start of this game. And they're making it happen. They got themselves a 2-0 already with no broken towers. The, the towers are full in terms of HP. It's going to be difficult for them to make anything happen at all. Now, Taos is going to be trying to go for the 2v1 because he was baiting in the members of Evos to try to overextend. And now, Hack is joining onto the fight. Hack will be able to hack away at his opponents there. He's not over. Rush's rush is kind of just chasing at this. Hack goes over the wall, gets the knock up, and knock it up. Indeed, he goes. The dissection, the play by the book of HQ. They're going to go for a four man into the side lane. Polka dives right in, but I don't think he's going to be able to escape even through a little bit of that regeneration. And while that was happening, Taos was like going in one versus four, absorbing every attack that he could. And oh no, oh goodness, there's going to be a good knockup from Weirau here. But as he tries to go for the knockup, nobody tries to go for the follow. And that means that nobody will be able to survive from Evos, except for the ones who didn't try to go for a fight. They're looking at the Nexus already. The damage to be had to hands. He backs off, and this should be GG. 10 seconds onto the clock for Evos on the other members, but that is not going to be enough time, and AHQ claim victory on Game 2.